Backcountry Navigator is one of the top selling apps in the travel and local care category in Google Play. Let's take a look at what it looks like when we've prepared and uh, set up our, our phone. We have this app here. We've got a map of a local park that we've downloaded here in advance. We've got a number of waypoints. In this case, most of them are geocaches. And we've got a little trail here marked in red of approximate path we're going to follow. And let's, uh, let's start navigating first, and then we'll take a look at what this looks like on your Gear 2 watch. We can see we have a number of options here, map, compass, stats, waypoints, control, or help. Uh, help will tell us a little bit about what these screens do, but we can also look here at control, and you've got a few basic things. Uh, you can turn the GPS off when you're done navigating, or turn tracking on or off, in addition to marking a waypoint at your current location. We're going to take a look first at the compass view, and we should note that this compass will show your moving direction, which is measured by the GPS in your phone. The Gear 2 does not have a magnetic sensor that will allow us to take a compass reading at the phone, but in future watches, such as the Gear Live, we'll be able to do that and have an even more useful compass view. This compass view will show you the direction, this green arrow of where you're headed, as well as the direction of a waypoint you're targeting as a go-to waypoint. And you'll be able to see your progress towards that and your distance. You're also seeing a number of marks here which indicate other waypoints. And you can zoom in or out based on what you want to see on that screen. In other screens, we're going to see stats. It tells you some statistics of your path and what kind of progress you're making. We notice here we can see a location, heading, and speed, uh, but also some cumulative stats, how far we are from the waypoint we're headed to, how far we've traveled, what our moving time and our average moving speed is, and a number of other stats here. We're also seeing a list view of the waypoints we saw as radar. We're going to see that uh, we have a certain waypoint that's only about 78 or 75 feet away. This waypoint has additional information. And this particular waypoint is a geocache, so you're going to see some formatted information here. It's much like you would see on geocaching.com. You're going, you're going to see some logs of people who recently found this information to find it, and we can also uh, look up a hint if we're unable to find it the first time. In this screen we're able to see, as we're swiping through the screens, we can see the map view, and this is a view of the portion of the map which you're going to see on your main screen in Backcountry Navigator. And from this screen you can see your heading and you can see your progress and how well you are following a predefined path or trail or road that is marked on the map and get an idea of where your progress is and what, where you are. And using this you're able to use your your watch for navigation, be able to stow your your phone or your tablet back in your backpack and be able to have your hands free and enjoy the outdoors. Thanks.